Welcome back to the workroom. I'm finishing up sewing the pleats on this very large drapery and then I'm going to show you how to pinch the two finger euro pleats where we're going to tack them at the top. Before we get to the pinching we have to finish up sewing these pleats and I'm using the walking foot here, the walking foot sewing machine and then we will bring the panel over to the table and pinch the pleats. Enjoy the video. This is a one-way left draw, very large drapery, it has 45 pleats, and the first one that I'm starting on here is just after the leading edge. So this is the first pleat you'll see when you walk into the room, and the whole panel is pleated to pattern, which means each pleat is landing on the same stripe where there is a large solid stripe in the middle and then skinny blue stripes on either side. This is going to make a very uniform drapery and it's going to look beautiful when it hangs. Now that I have all of the pleats stitched into place, I'm going to do the two finger pinch and clip it until I'm ready to go to the tacker. So to get the pinches uh, nice and even, the first thing you want to do is open up that pleat and get this folded part down to the seam and have them meet. So you want this crease to meet this seam down here. And you want those to be on top of each other. And then you can crease each side and then just bring them up together. And what you want to make sure of is that this folded part is all the way down to the middle rather than being stuck up higher like that, that would be bad. So push that all the way down. And then the other thing is to make sure that these two fingers, we call them, are the same size so that they're even at the top. If one's a little bit bigger, just open it back up and slide a little fabric to the side that needs it. So those are the same size, and then I'll just clip it into place, and then just keep doing that same thing over and over again. And you might notice that this striped fabric has been pleated on the same stripe every time. So it's creating very uniform stripes where each pleat on the outside has the skinny blue stripes and on the inside has the wide solid stripe. And so when this drapery is going to hang, it's going to look beautiful because each pleat will fall all the way down to the floor, the same stripe. So just open up that pleat and then push the folded part down to the middle. And by creasing each side, when they come together, they should be even. And then it'll hold its shape too if you give it a crease. And then we're going to tack these at the top here once we take this over to the tacker. And that will make this a euro pleat by being tacked at the top. If we were to tack it down here at the bottom, that would be a French pleat, which is a, more of a traditional look. But um, tacking at the top makes it a euro pleat. 
the two finger pleats are the more modern option compared to the three finger. So if you wanted to do a three finger, you would pinch the center and then push it down to meet the seam down here. And you would hold on to that center part and you would try to hold on to the same amount as what's left over on each side. And then you would fold it and bring all three of those together. So that would be a three finger pleat, French pleat at the bottom, or it would be a three finger Euro pleat if we tacked it at the top. And those would be really cool too because it would show that same solid in the middle of all of these pleats if we went with that one with the three finger. But the designer has requested the two finger for more of a modern look. So we're going to go with that and just pinch two fingers. And you'll still see that solid down the middle once it's hanging freely from the rod. So it's going to look really beautiful. This is a one-way draw stacking to the to the left and it's a 155 inch rod so we have a lot of fabric here and a lot of pleats 45 pleats and we were only able to do this pleating to pattern because the stripes um, were the right size. Sometimes you cannot pleat a pattern. It just depends on the spacing of the stripes, but it just worked out really nicely in this fabric. It's going to be really beautiful once we see them hanging up. This one's a little big on this side, so making an adjustment. Oh no, it's even. So I'm just going to keep doing this until I get to the end. We have this many more. Stay tuned until we can get these to the tacker and tack the pleats at the top for the finished look. Thanks for joining. 
subscribe and like if you learned something and comment if you have questions. Thank you for watching.